All right, so we're back. Um, yeah. 34 touchdowns, 23 picks. That's not a good year for Bryce. But it's decent. Corey Coleman's doing all right. You know, oh, let's at least look at uh, the Seahawks. Russell Wilson's having a terrible season. Thomas Rawls is great. CJ Procise is a god, apparently, in the, in the in, within five yards. Doug Baldwin's still pretty good. Jermaine Kyrus is all right. Jimmy Graham's cool. Tyler Lockett is all right. Bobby Wagner is still Bobby Wagner with KJ Wright. Still got Cam Chancellor. Michael Bennett is still pretty good. Cliff Averill is still pretty good. Richard Sherman is still on this team. Steven Haska sucks. Alright. But let's try to win this game. We're 12 and 1. They are. I'm sorry, I didn't see that record. They are seven and six. So they win this game, they'll probably be in good spots to make the playoffs. We win this game. We continue our winning ways. The only time we lost was against the Titans because we were fucking up. So yeah. Listen, we're trying to get Bryce this MVP. Alright, but 34 touchdowns and 23 picks, I don't think it's going to work. We need to stop throwing so many goddamn picks, but we need to stop throwing. Damn, Minnesota sucks, dude. 15 and 12. Holy shit. Ooh, they're without Doug Baldwin or something? They go play action here on first down. They hit Jermaine Curse. That was a that was a great blitz pick up there. Three weeks, three weeks, four weeks, okay. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. An ex teammate used to tell me all the time I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what. You really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where Ooh, the oh, was bang. coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary hey, for a nice game. Hey, Amerson, you're right there, brother. Primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Now Wilson on first down. He's got his man on the crossing. All right, Cream. Give him nine there on the first down completion. To throw again is Wilson. Damn, what a beautiful pass, bro. Inside the 20 before he's brought down. 18 yards there, down two to 18 and a first down. One of the selling points of the in route is against the quarterback, a really nice sight line to his receiver. Bro, there was nothing I could have done that would have been. Able to throw the ball into the middle of the field. Oh, man, that was a dime. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Love the call by the offensive coordinator, recognizing the situation very well, calling for the play-action pass, and completing it. They'll try to run with Rawls. Jadavion Clowney gets back there. Nice. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. 
Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block. And he really? Scored. Interesting. take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive that's just a solid methodical drive to score. Oh, this is blocked now it's scooped up and this is let's go we finally got a block kick he's at the 40 the 20 10 and he brings this all the way back so forget seven to nothing it's six to two kevin johnson Let's go. Hold on. Where's my shit? There we go. Six seventeen. All right. Let's go. Let's just feel it at the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds here. A yard shy of the 25 and the 24. You know, we always call this play. Always. On the ground, this is Lamar Miller. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. Let's go. Gain a 12 for Lamar Miller. The 35. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Well, how many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. DeAndre Hopkins really nice takes up a gain of 15 on that play. Bryce Petty throws over 4,000 passing yards. They wanted to focus on these intermediate passing plays, and it paid off there. Yes, 4,009. Good for him. Corey Coleman over the middle. He picks up a gain of 22. Pick up a gain of four for Lamar Miller. You've been struggling on the ground game. He only has 700 yards. I know I said it's only 700, but... Probably would have had 800, 900 if, you know, he didn't get hurt. Hopkins! Over the middle! Touchdown! DeAndre Hopkins! Ten touchdowns! For DeAndre Hopkins. 35 passing touchdowns for Bryce Petty. And a simple drag route gets him all the way there. 13 mile per hour win. And we got there. And it's 9 to 6. The 721 remaining in the first. Good for us. I'm about to get that boy. Alright, well, I'm going to let you guys watch the game here. I'm going to go and uh, put on my clothes. So I'll be right back. Oh, and use the restroom. 
last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. On second down, Wilson. Complete, Richardson has it. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it's going to yield a new set of downs. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. First down, this is Rawls. What a spin. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. The defensive crew for the Texans. Here's a look. DeMarcus Ware may be a veteran, but he's not just a wily one. He's a terrific producer. Still extremely difficult to block when he's rushing the passer. Now Wilson on second down. He's got the tight end, Vanette. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. They run with a power back. Rawls. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Rawls, the lone man in the backfield. They'll get the football here. Cuts back, left sideline. And they do get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. And we all know it's turned into a passing league in the NFL, but that doesn't mean people still don't like to run the football. When you run it that successfully, your offensive line is fired up. What they want to do each and every game is run block. Get out and smack some people. I would say go ahead and run it again. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. On second down, here's Wilson. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. It's the former Seahawk, Brandon Meebane, in there to get him for a loss of five. And on second and goal, they decide to throw it again, and this result is even worse. They take a sack. On first down, it was simply an incomplete pass. Not a good first two plays, beginning with first and goal. And back at the eight now, third and goal. On third and goal, Wilson. He's got time. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. And right now I take my rudimentary kindergarten skills and draw where the tackle box would be because that was close. I thought he was in the tackle box. He has to be very careful where he gets rid of the football from that spot. Yeah, they say there was a receiver in the area, though. Yeah. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. I have to believe that if you're the team trying to block a field goal, you don't mind this weather. All right, the rain probably is going to help you because so many things can go wrong for the guys trying to kick the ball. It's as simple as maybe you just lose your footing. You kind of spin out like a tire in the snow, not getting traction, and you create a space and someone comes through. And I think for everybody, snapper, holder, kicker, everything slows down maybe a fraction of a second. And a fraction of a second and a field goal try, that can be all the difference. I love how you described that. Everything slows down, but it's a deliberate slowdown, isn't it? Yep. Because everyone's trying to be more careful and more deliberate to make sure...
Now back to throw. Caught left side, Hopkins. And down he'll go at the 25. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. He had time, was able to survey the field and find a soft spot in that zone coverage. And that's where it gets difficult for a defender, Brandon. You go to your spots on the field that you have to cover, and when the offense finds an area that you're not in, that's where they throw the football. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's Texans football. down carry now for Miller and that play is blown up losing yardage back at the 35 that's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down and the offense there the O-line everybody really on offense they were just manhandled at the point of attack yeah you could pretty much call them all out couldn't you <laughs> almost by name right that was a very tough sequence for the offensive line but how about that defensive front creating a new line of scrimmage and creating a lost yardage possibility. He was looking to get it to his running back, Lamar Miller, and it's third down. Well, he tried to make something happen, but that one came up incomplete and really wasn't a good-looking throw. Yeah, maybe even go as far as to call that a little ill-advised. Yeah, I would say so. I think that's the right phrase for it. Definitely ill-advised. Just wonder about his mechanics right now, you know, and that's the tough part. You do so much stuff in practice to make it repetitive, but it has to repeat under pressure, whether it's pressure from the defense or just the pressure of playing the game. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. And that is how you do it, my friends. This will be spotted out of bounds inside the five-yard line. Hey. The Texans defense, they get ready here. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your There you go, Brandon Maybane. The board. Let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Now Wilson back into his end zone. Hey, safety! Andre Howe, Brian Cushing. I think you'd have to say this crowd here in Seattle, this 12th man had something to do with that. As well as the architect of this stadium. Combined with this crowd noise, makes it very difficult to run offense. And here, two points result for the defense. It is deafening in here. And now well, you dumbasses, this is, this is not the right one. Last time, see if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, where the game... Yeah, too. Not too bad. side of the ball held him to a gain of two and that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays second and eight Corey Coleman only five yard gain against Richard Sherman it's a gain of five and it'll be third down all right I'm gonna stand up for this shit 
Right at the guy. Understanding third and short, guarding the first down sticks, and being able to make a play on the football and bat it down. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Not too shabby here. This will skip out of bounds at about the 12 yard line. All right, well, I'm going to continue doing what I was doing. I'll be right back. Offense now they get ready to come back onto the field and last time they surrendered the safety we know they don't want to do that again that is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get and it's just so strange to see that go up on the board and then you got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again they've got to take care of the ball but boy it juices up the defense oh without a doubt that's a great way to score some points and when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And left side here, it's Graham. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Rawls, the lone man in the backfield. And he'll get it up the middle. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to be wrapped up and driven down. DeMarcus Ware in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. A fake to Rawls. Now it's Wilson. He's going to look deep down. And got his man complete. And he's brought down after a good game. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. A loss of a full three yards and now it's second down. Well, they try to swing it out left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Now Wilson on second down. The grab made by Curse over the middle. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Hey, the defense is in this game as well. They wanted to make it a tough third down. They were able to do so on that last play, preventing a big game. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. On third down, Wilson. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. So on fourth down, here's the Canadian-born punter, John Ryan, to kick it away for Seattle. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good, but when you can couple that with contact on him that leads to an incompletion, as we just saw there, that's winning football. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. Now 
out comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. want to go out and, and punt it away again. Tight right, tight right. Here we go now. 319. 319. Petty now. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. The intended target was Corey Coleman. And it's second down. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly. Just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. You gotta keep throwing it to him. He keeps making All right, Bryce Petty drops back to pass. Pass complete. CJ Fedorowicz, seven yards. All right. Also, if you guys weren't paying attention, uh, DeMarcus Ware's sack was his first sack as a Houston Texan. As the dog keeps licking, I hate when he does that shit. Bryce Petty drops back to pass. Great blitz pickup. Only a gain of three on that play to Kenny Stills. I believe that's his like 60th or 65th catch or whatever. All right, that's he's over 600 yards though. Started inches. Let's see, we're probably gonna run it. Never mind, pass. Throws it. DeAndre Hopkins completes on the out route. DeAndre Hopkins has seven catches in this first half alone. Seven catches, 88 yards, and a touchdown. All right. Bryce Petty makes adjustments at the line. That was it. Hands it all off to Lamar Miller. He only picks up a yard. All right. Second and nine. 30 or 50 left in the second. Saints are up on the Bears, 7-6. Bryce Petty draws back to pass one more time. Out route gets blown up by Cam Chancellor. <laughs> Kids blown. Loss of a yard. He wants to go back outside. I'm sorry. Third and ten now, on their 45, or on their 49 yard line. 14, 13, uh, 14, three. Chiefs here. Bryce Petty. Play fake. Throws it. Bat it away. KJ Wright. And now they're gonna punt the ball with 2:59 left in the second. Cardinals are up on the Giants, 13-10. Really so 11-6 is your score here. Shane Lieber, he's already had two punts in the 20. And this is going to be a touchback. Yeah, that is much too long. That's the end of the end All right, now it's up to ours. To ours? To us. Let's see if we can't hold him. Which reminds me, hold on. Oh, well, later. Hey, nice tackle, Andre Howe. Three yard loss right there. That was a great blitz right there by us. Anyways, where's that sack on? 33 yards? Jesus, okay. He beat John like he stole something. That's crazy. Look at that spin move. And he sacks him right here. Demarcus Ware. What is it, 29-44? Play. 
player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Marcus Ward gets his first sack of the Houston Texans. I'm proud of him, man. He was coming off the injury. Ah, we tried getting to him before, but J.J. Watt's right there. I think they're getting smarter about, you know, when they see J.J. Watt coming through, like, hey, maybe we should not be there anymore. You know what I'm saying? That's only gonna help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before Jay. He's beating them. Shit. Well, that's a great pass to Pro Size, but only picks up two. Make sure the feet were inbounds and they were. And it's a two minute warning. As he'll kick it away for the second time. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to Century Link Field after this. All right. Hey, 14-10 now. This is a down year for the Chiefs. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that, put it in the end zone. They'd love to see Richard Sherman, stop, stop, let's not. Right now, All right, brother. He's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Well, let's not do that. All right, because me and you both know. No, I found somewhere to go with it. I just didn't have enough time to throw it. That makes sense. First, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. A nickel look by Seattle on third down. Yep, five defensive backs now. They'll look to throw. And stills over the middle. I let you get killed. I'm sorry, Kenny. Returnable for Lockett. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. There we go. Yards. Well done on the return. And the offense will come back on. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose right. the field position battle as a general rule. Oh my god. There, two people were there. Jadavion Clowney was screaming off the edge. Oh, Whitney Mercer's was there too. Oh my god. They are blitz. They are getting... They are getting there. Oh, what a pass breakup by Brian Cushing. That's what I'm talking about, Nick Barnett. Three straight incompletions, only waste like maybe 10, 20 seconds off the clock. And now it's 118 left in the second. And we have all three timeouts. And John Ryan punts it. Oh, my God. At the one-yard line. Wow, we should have just returned it at that point. It's one and a half yards. They're probably going to get a safety here. Honestly. Alright, five yards. That's not too bad. Ooh. 
Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that. And play is stopped here. Timeout. Okay. It's the defense calling the timeout here. All right. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Rush comes and they block it. And he gets us, and he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Wow. Wow. And now out comes Houston. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Oh, let me guess a hold. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. No, hold on. Sorry. 